is Skin Cancer Awareness Month and here to tell us why it is so important that you have your skin checked regularly and what you need to look for is Chief Dermatology Resident Dustin Mullins with Affiliated Dermatology. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. All right. Such an important topic. Let's talk first about skin cancer. What exactly is a skin cancer screening? So a skin cancer screening is a tremendous opportunity for a patient to come in to see a board certified dermatologist and get their skin evaluated. And the real benefit of that is, is getting a baseline, getting an opportunity to meet your dermatologist, get your skin looked over, sometimes those areas that are more difficult to see, looking at yourself, trying to see and monitor any close changes for mm -hmm. any concerning signs or symptoms that we might perceive as being a risk for a potential skin cancer. So it's a great opportunity to catch those early and get them treated early, which always uh, results in a better outcome. Definitely. So who should get a screening? So here in Arizona with a high UV index where we're getting a lot of sun, 300 plus days of sun a year, yeah. everybody's at risk. So we always recommend everybody, including families, kids, get a baseline skin cancer screening where they get all their skin looked at and we get a baseline. And then depending on the risk factors, whether there's a family history of skin cancer, whether or not they have red hair, freckles, blonde hair, blue eyes, we'd put them in that high risk category. Mm -hmm. They might be seen more frequent than somebody that might have a little bit more of a darker pigment where they have brown hair or brown eyes that's going to be less likely to be at risk for those UV related or sun related skin cancers or changes but we still would typically recommend at least once a year for a full body skin check and then depending on those risk factors they might be bumped up to every six months or if they've got a personal history of skin cancer might be even more frequent maybe every three months. And you mentioned that they should be doing these about once a year that's sort of the standard. Once a year baseline and then annually every year correct. And you check everything in between the toes the scalp yeah. Uh, behind the ears, those places we can't see. Absolutely. Some of these areas are, you know, too difficult for somebody to watch closely for change or monitor for change. That's a lot of the times what we recommend for areas that you can visibly see, like the back of your hands. So if we're seeing anything new, that's something we always recommend our patients monitor for and make note of. So when they come back in for their annual exam, they can tell the dermatologist where they have any new moles or where they've noticed any change. Either them or their partner may have noted, noted those changes, mm -hmm. and then we make sure that they bring that to light. And of course, prevention is key. So where do we start at home to help prevent skin so, cancer? So absolutely, that, uh, preventing it at home, that d discussion should happen with your kids. So we always recommend parents to you know, really get that ingrained into their kids early on. Sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen. Going outside every day, they're going to be getting exposed. Mm -hmm. So we recommend that they use a mineral-based sunscreen, SPF 30 or above. That mineral base is going to be a zinc or a titanium-based sunscreen that makes it broad spectrum, prevents from the skin cancer-causing rays and the sun aging rays, and it's the safest too. It's no chemicals. And it's important things to look for when we're doing checks at home. Absolutely. So we call it the ABCDEs. It makes it a little bit simpler to remember. And it's the criteria that we look for for any brown or pigmented lesion that sometimes could be concerning for melanoma. That's the one that as dermatologists we all get concerned about. Oh, yeah. Why? Because it has the highest risk of mortality of all the skin cancers. Um, so what we tell them to look for is asymmetry. That's the A. So if you cut it down the middle, is it a mirror image of itself? It should be. If it offends that rule, then that's something that we want to look at further. At B, is the border irregular or is it smooth? We want it to be smooth. If it's jagged, that's irregular. That offends that rule. C is color, color variegation. Is it more than one color? So typically we want it to be homogenous. Is it just a brown or is it just a, a light red? You know, what's the color of that lesion? It should be one, not two colors. Okay. Um, and then D is diameter, six millimeters. Is it greater than a pencil eraser? So it should be less than that. So if it's greater than a pencil eraser, we look for that. All right, so many important tips. Thanks so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. And you have a special offer as well on sunscreen right now too. Absolutely, so at our affiliated dermatology dispensary, we're, we are currently offering a really good deal, 15% off on our sunscreens if they just call our number at 602-775. 5024, they can get that great deal. All right, thank you so much. And if you do want to learn more about affiliated dermatology, you can log on to their website, afderm.com slash yourlifearizona or call the number on your screen.